Hi, welcome to my video on find quadrants where cos and sine are positive and negative. We reviewed that in a previous uh, unit in TRIG, but we'll review it again when we're solving equations just to make sure. Where are the TRIG ratios positive and negative? Use the CAS rule or ASTC rule for positive ratios, positive tree ratios. The cash rule is C A S T. Now, there's nothing wrong with the cash rule, but the cash rule starts in quadrant four. I prefer to use ASTC and ASTC is add sugar to coffee. And why do I like this ASTC? Add sugar to coffee because A is starting in quadrant one. And so if A is the first letter in the alphabet and you start in quadrant one because this is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. Whereas the cash rule starts in quadrant four. So whatever way you memorize it, it makes no difference. But again, ASTC, add sugar to coffee, starts in quadrant one. And A stands, the A stands for all. The S stands for sine. The T stands for tan. And the C stands for cos. And again, these are positive trig ratios. So... Everything is positive in quadrant one because this is all. Uh, sine is positive in quadrant two. And also, if you think of it, it's reciprocal. It's cosecant is positive. And tan is positive in three. And also that means that cot, cot is positive. And if cos is positive in four, that means that uh, secant is reciprocal is positive. So again, review. Sine is positive, that means that the other two, cos and tan, are negative. If tan is positive, that means the other two, cos and sine, are negative. So once you decide what's positive, then the other quadrants will be negative. So cos is positive. Cos is positive in one, because they're all positive, and in four. Cos is negative. If cos is positive in 1 and 4, it must be negative in the other ones, 2 and 3. Sine is positive in number 1. Everything is positive in number 1. So sine is also positive in 2, 1 and 2. So sine is positive in 1 and 2. It must be negative in 3 and 4. That's one way. I also like the idea that cos is associated, cos theta is associated with the x, and sine is the y. Let's draw this circle. And let's plot a point on the circle, x comma y. This circle has a radius of 1. That means that this point is 1 comma 0. So if you drop a perpendicular to the x-axis and we have a radius of 1. That's the hypotenuse of the triangle. So this is the x here, and this is the y here. Coordinates of the points are x and y. Notice that these values are less than 1 because if the hypotenuse is the longest side in the right triangle, then the legs got to be shorter. But notice that cos theta is this rotation right here. So that means this angle right here is theta, or the reference angle. So the cos of theta, cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, Sakatoa. And the adjacent is x over 1. So cos theta is x over 1, or x. And sine theta is Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which is the y over 1, or the y. So on the unit circle whose radius is 1, I always associate 
about cars, and again, I'll put it here. If you think about X and Y, then I think about cars, theta, and sine theta. And I think of alphabetically. X is before Y, C is before S. So cars is with the X, sine is with the Y. If that be the case, you got X and Y axes. So this ordered pair here is X is plus, Y is plus, because X is positive on this side, X is negative on this side. Y is positive up here and negative down here. So this ordered pair, the X on this side is negative and the Y above is positive. And here, X is negative and Y is negative. And right here, on this side, X is positive and Y is negative going down. So you can look at it from the CAS rule or ASTC or think about cars as the X associated with the X and the Y on a unit circle. So cars is positive, that means where X is positive. So X is positive in one and four. Cars is negative, that's where X is negative. And X is negative on the left side of two and three. Sine is associated with the Y, and Y is positive going up, so that's one and two. And sine is associated with the Y, and Y is negative, and negative is going down, so it's three and four. You get the same answers as we did up here, only I'm thinking cos is associated with the X, sine is associated with the Y, because of this what we what I showed you right here. Cos is associated with the X. Sine is with the Y. And I never forget it. And I keep, again, alphabetically, X is before Y, C is before S. Again, that's just reviewing where cos and sine are positive and negative in the different quadrants. And if you think about it, I lost my sheet. Here it is. And if you like my video, click on the like button, subscribe button. Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. Content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.